Russia coming out on top. Hungary winning four times. And they don't get the up opening bucket right here. 2015. Team Hungary taking that one. U18 European qualifiers in the pool. 2016 in the semi-final Europe Cup. Hungary winning U18 Europe Cup 2017. It was the final Hungary won. And in the previous edition of the World Cup, Hungary won 2019 World Cup. Russia with the one point lead. It's team US and Team US, both in men and women, defending the title. Hungary, they get the steal. Can they score now for the first time in this ball game? It was deflected, 3.1 to go. Hungary possession, no, they turn it over. Foul called. Team Russia finishing in the 15th position in a previous edition. Hungary 11th, not making that, not making it that out of out of the pools. On the drive, she is. She'll miss it. Boglarka Horvath performing in a skills challenge as well. What a fake that was. Goes Hakim on you. Great play inside the paint. Veronica Loginova getting a bucket. Russia, two to nothing. Hungary, unbeaten so far. They go to the rack. Reka Naji scores. Oh, she fakes her out again. Kristina Savkovic, round she goes. A technical is called. Too much defense up close. One of the key rules of 3x3. The game continues right away after a scored bucket. The team that was defending, they turned defense to offense immediately. You can't interrupt. You can't touch the ball first. You can't defend in a semi-circle. Eriaka Naji, no problem at the stripe. Zita Sabo. Gets a chance to fire, she was wide open. It won't go, she gets the rebound. Eyes on target, no good off the glass. A second chance, they won't get the third one. Dora Horvath also missing. She leaves her behind. Team Russia, great individual skill. Kristina Safkovic scoring that one. Wide open for a deuce, no go. A foul is called. It goes against Russia. Luki Khan wants to hear no more arguing. Anastasia Bokorova, she picks it up. Told you already, I'm gonna tell you again. Debreson Masses, 2021 World Tour coming here. Foul is called. Stars in four hours. Best teams from all over the world. 
coming to perform as usual in Debrison. Russia leading four to three. Can Bucket Rova get the bucket? No. She's Anastasia Bukharova. She gets so many buckets. My goodness, she was the one to decide the ball game versus the United States of America. Making those key free throws, cold-blooded, hungry. They find a way to tie it. Another warning. Team Russia going hard at you. This time Zita Sabo doing too much in that semi-circle. An offensive foul. Team Russia with four. This can easily be a final, man. Naji. Ball stays home. Naji ready for the check ball. Eka Naji goes all the way, and that's a good drive. She's got the quickness to do it. Won't finish this time. Bakurova gets the bucket. A deuce will fall. Zita Sapo. An unsportsmanlike. Too much contact, way too much, and it was a clear path foul. Reka Naji grabbing the opponent. Two free throws and a possession. Two fouls for the record. An unsportsmanlike is two fouls in 3x3 basketball. From a seventh foul on, two shots. From 10th on, two shots in a possession. Veronika Loginova, she took a hard hit. She gets one or two. Russia, they tie the ball. It's just two shots, Team Hungary gets the possession. So they get punished with one. It goes the other way. Naji. Horvath. Another deuce won't fall for Naji. Team Russia, they commit a turnover. We've got our first TV timeout. Just like the MC said. Team Russia supported you in Debreson. Everybody got some relatives. You can enter the event here in Debreson without any big restrictions. You can fill the crowd here. Kind of nice playing with spectators during those COVID times. Doesn't happen very often. Tons of FIBA 3X3 events. They're urban festivals, usually. Nobody in the stands. And now here in Debreson, it's a venue of 1,500. As I went on to evaluate kind of the seats yesterday or so, enough with my personal experiences, it's a foul here. Russia picking up their fifth. Boglarka. Zita. She launches it from downtown. No go. Rekanaji. She gets the rebound. Can't stay inbounds.
Loginova stops, pops, and it drops. Veronica Loginova, number 31, drawing that unsportsmanlike. She's so quick on that first step. Now she stops just at the right time, makes the defense freeze, gets it to go. Loginova once again. 8-6, Zita Sabo ties it at eight. Crowd loving it. Zita Sabo. A foul called. Hungry with five. Kristina Savkovic. But Karova won't go. But Larga Horvath tries to stop, tries to do it like Veronica Loginova did. Won't work out. Nadezhda Zakova inside. Who touched it last? It's Team Hungary. Dora Horvath, the tallest in the squad, trying to hold her ground there. Dora Horvath, 190. Zita Saba, 180. Paul Glarka. Glark Horvath, 178. Rekanaji, 171. It's Team Russia. They get another bucket. Russia about one. Can they build onto that lead? Five minutes and 22 seconds. Great interception. Bogladika Horvath. It looked like for a moment she was a teammate of the Russian girl, Zita Sapo. Pure shooting performance. Six fouls, Hungary. It puts Russia in the bonus. Now on, it's two shots. Zita Sapo, number 31, Team Hungary. What a great player she is. What a thriller we're in for. Okay, all the way. She goes, Kristina Savkovic. 183. Not necessarily the tallest on the court, but this Russian squad, well-rounded. All physical. This is what Russian women's basketball is. Nine times out of ten, they bring their A game. Six seconds to shoot. Got to stay patient here. Bokorova turns right, gets it to go. Russia with the lead again. 11 to 10. Naji, she's got some space. She gets the bucket. Defense taking the risk won't pay off Kristina Safkovic gets that one to go as Bokorova misses Team Hungary tomorrow is going to be crowded here in the stands if they go all the way to the semi it looks like they want to go there they would love to who wouldn't Reka Naji goes down the lane first and converts a foul is called Hungary with seven. Time out. As we are getting ready to rock you. Thirteen. Eleven. Two point game. Hungary, Deborah Sen, FIBA 3X3, U18 World Cup. 
Deberson Masters, a pro event, a premium event, starting in just a moment. Top squats coming. Russia going to the stripe. Leganova, she gets it to go. Gets one out of two. Ah, it's out of bounds, isn't it? What happened? Zita Sapo gets another one to go. Are we gonna count that? Won't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Why the future tense? Let's take a look. Was the foot on the line? The clock was ticking. Miroslava Jovicin got to talk to the scorer's table now. As we've got a slide of a delay. We need to solve the play. Hungry, great execution anyway. No matter if it counts or not. It counts. It does. No foot on the line. Team Hungry, Zita Sapo. Shocking Team Russia with that deuce. Ouch. Hungary bot three, they're all fired up. Great execution, right off of a rebound, that's what great teams do. They hit the shooter, and the shooter performs. Foul call, Team Hungary, way too much contact. Legnova at the stripe. She's leading this team Russia in the game. Looking to beat the opponent one-on-one -on -one all that time. And most of the time she does. Very explosive. Veronika Legnova. Number 31, Team Russia. She makes them both. Loganova, ranked number 94 in Russia. Adjusting to 3x3, but why does that matter? She's performing, she's good as hell. Loganova puts a deuce up. Out of bounds it goes. It ticks away, no new 12 seconds. Had to take a look before getting that check ball. Team Russia, they turn it over. A little over three minutes still to go here. Boglarka Horvath off the front of the rim. Zita Sapo, pretty much unstoppable. 16 of 14, Zita Sapo, what a performance. Russia, they get the bucket. Sapo, she won't this time. Loginova fouled again. Team Hungary, so careless with those fouls. Dora Horvath, and it was a clear foul. Grabbing the hand of Loginova. Why would you do that? Dora Horvath ranked 717 in Hungary. Loginova missing. Team Hungary, 12th seed in the tournament. Gold at the Europe Cup under 18, 2015 and 2017. Silver at the Europe Cup back in 2016 and bronze here in Debreson back in 2015. Here they come. Hungary by one. Boglarka Horvath. She converts. Team Russia. Bronze 2017 World Cup. Silver Europe Cup 2017. Bronze Europe Cup 2019. 
back in Belisi. It's a foul six for Russia. Hungary, they've got a one point lead. Slight momentum going their way. Naji. Sabo. She goes all the way. No kick outs here. She kisses it off to Glassen in. 18 16. Team Hungary. Despite all those fouls, they're still up. Team US. Fouls are what kill them playing Russia. Leganova hits Bokarova with the pass. Won't go. It's a two point game. Zita Sapo. 10 fouls, Russia, two shots in a possession. If there's someone that can beat Hungary, it's Team Hungary. They're so hyped up, playing in front of their home crowd. The effort is too much. Nadezhda Zakova. If you give one in those, on those occasions, nothing's gonna happen. Now you're risking to give four points maximum here. If it's two free throws made and a deuce. Missing both. Will the foul pay off? Nadezhda Zakova only got herself to blame. Bakarova. Is it Bacharova? In Russian? I guess so. Out of bounds she goes. Good defense. Boglarka Horvath. She lets her go to the right. Pushes her baseline. No foul this time. Great footwork. Boglarka Horvath representing Hungary number five. Boglarka Horvath, 178, 18 years of age. One of the two more experienced members of that squad. And Zita Sabo, number 31. The girls that's responsible for the lead. Almost single-handedly. Looked like that at times. She's 17. Zita Sabo got the right size. She's got the athleticism. We can see people praying in the VIP area. Hungary with a VIP performance offensively. Too many unnecessary fouls and a turnover right here. Can they survive it? Don't over defend. As strange as it sounds, it's true. Leginova gets it to go. Ah, it's Kristina Safko Safkovic. I'm sorry. A turnover again and a travel. Two turnovers. Teams trading them. Hungary still with a one point lead. 122 to go. Anything can happen totally. Naji. Naji. Round she goes. Three in the key. Hungary. Another wasted opportunity. I see people asking in the comments, how is it that Belarus is not in the quarterfinal? It was a three-way tie, ladies and gentlemen. Three wins each, US, Russia, and Belarus, Russia, with the same amount of points, because we're looking at the points scored in that kind of a situation. Russia, a higher seed than Belarus, same amount of points scored, they go through. Seed is the third criteria. No criteria is right here. Win or go home. Team Russia with possession. Less than a minute ago. Off it goes. Bokarova with the rebound. No jump ball, no foul here. Will the deuce fall? Not yet. Boglarka Horvath. She's fouled. Two shots for Team Hungary. They can make it 20 to 17. Can they live through the stress? Team Hungary getting that lead down the stretch. 
but they stopped right after. They stopped the bidding here and there, you know? Okay, Boglarka Horvath. So much pressure. And she misses. Can Horvath sink the second? She does. It's a two-point game. Russia still alive. If they get a foul, they'll get those two shots. If they get the bucket, they can come one point closer. Bucket Rova gets the bucket. 19 to 18. Boglarka Horvath. She'll be looking for one. She takes Bokurova inside and banks it in. Loginova. Safkovic. Safkovic. Three seconds. Off the backboard it goes. It's way off. She was trapped. Boglarka Horvath. They just hold on to the ball and that's it. Russia. They pick up a foul. Their eighth. Nothing else to do. Still not over the 10 foul limit. So they can hope Hungary misses both. No other way. They put Rekinaji at the stripe. Team Russia. Team Hungary. They're in the semi final. Russia on a mission impossible versus USA. They did it. They won't do it. Facing Hungary as this team has a full right to celebrate.